Well, Joe, we head into round four now. How do you have it through three? Well, the first round was really close, but I give those last two rounds to, to Robin Van Roosmalen. So easily roping up two to three rounds. These are the championship rounds, four and five. We are in Amsterdam. Todd Grisham and Joseph Valtellini ringside. The featherweight championship of the world on the line. Ruben Van Roosmalen, current title holder, wearing white gloves. The challenger, Sergei Adamchuk, wearing black. And what does the Ukrainian need to change, Joe, if he is indeed down two or three rounds? He needs to show a little bit more dominance, aggression. Try to stay back uh, and counter back more. Don't just wait. Try to, to hit a little bit more than move. Right. Because that first round was close, so he still has a chance to, to pick it up in these last two rounds. And Rusman, as expected, has been the aggressor since the opening bell. And here are the total strikes. Very close. 48 landed for Adamchuk, 46 for Van Rusman. Remember, it's about damage, too. Robin seems to be a little bit more damaged with his punches. In his last fight against Dylan Salvador, we saw a much more aggressive Adam Chuck. But he's maybe changed strategies because he just wants to win the title any way he can. Well, it is the style difference. You know, when you have a heavy power puncher who's in your face constantly, you know, it's so hard to, to sit and fight back when you're not the, the more powerful of the two. Nice low kick by Van Roosmalen. Haven't seen a ton of that in this fight. No, it could be the southpaw that's throwing down uh, the low kicks, but that inside leg's right there for Van Roosmalen. And look at that, just one landed kick for Adam Chuck. Surprised? And, yeah, and he went to the body. As a, as a north-south, and Adam Chuck's the southpaw, Robin's the orthodox. A perfect strategy is the rear kick for both guys. Not many of them. Adam Chuck seems more content trying to land that knee. And again, Adam Chuck backing up to the ropes. That's just fine with Van Roosmalen. Look how quick Van Roosmalen's hands get back up after he throws a punch. Oh yeah, he always stays uh, very defensive. And a lot of guys, when they fight Robin, they think that the body's easy to hit because he has a high guard, but that short torso and power just makes it almost impossible to land. Good jab there from Adam Chuck. He's tried that knee several times. Yeah, Robin stays really tight defensively. It's going to be really hard to land that. I'm sure Adam Chuck has hit Robin's elbows a few times. So we'll head to the fifth and final round for the featherweight championship of the world. Joe, I would assume another round in the bank for RVR. Yep, absolutely. Um, it could easily be four rounds to nothing for Robin. Again, that first round, in my opinion, was super close. And according to the way I would score it, it's the advantage to Van Roosmalen just pressuring more and, and, and being the aggressor. Well, if you're Big Mike in the corner of Adam Schiff, what do you tell him now that he probably needs a knockout? Yeah, just let's go. Let's go. Let's put all of our hard work in. Let's stand in the pocket a little bit more and try to exchange back and forth. Let's try to counter back. Let's try to put him out. The future has already been written for the winner of this fight. They will face contender tournament winner Kevin Van Ostrand in Madison Square Garden December 1st for the featherweight championship. But right now, it looks like it's going to be Van Roosmalen. Yeah, Kevin Van Ostrand looks good in his, you know, his contender's tournament win. So, exciting fight. Three minutes left. Will the domination of Van Roosmalen continue or can Adam Chuk Find some magic. Here we go. Adam Chuck trying to jump right on 
Van Roosmal in here. I say break, you break. Fight! Yeah, he's we sense that urgency. And this is the fight that Van Roosmal wants. You can see him say, come on. There's nothing to hold on to anymore. If you're Adam Chuck, let's go. Let it all out. Empty the tank. Van Roosmalen is enjoying this as swelling under his left eye begins. There's that kick we were looking for earlier. Break! Fight! The left eye of Van Roosmalen starting to close now. Too bad for Adam Chuck he wasn't able to do that damage a little earlier in the fight. A good first minute, though, for the Ukrainian. A lot of people don't realize how exhausting it is to move. You can hit pads all day, but can you move for five rounds? It's a different type of energy system. And move backwards. Yeah, you need to keep moving. There's someone attacking you. Drill that. You no, know, in your camps, drill this. Move your feet for five rounds without throwing. Back into the fray, Steph Van Roosmalen. Not going to change his strategy now. Nice right hook from Adam Chuk. Trying to exit out with it. Well, this is the best round so far for Adam Chuk. Definitely he had a very good beginning of this round. Slowing down now. In the fight statistics, at least landed punches wise, pretty similar. But as you mentioned, it's Van Roosman who's controlling the ring and, and landing the heavier, more damaging strikes. Well, the strategy for Adam Chuck is to keep his hands active because Robin's a counter puncher. So by staying active, you keep him pinned. He doesn't throw as much. But when he counters, you got you got to get out of the way. There's the total strikes I was telling you about, 66 to 65. Whoa! Is that rolling thunder? Rolling thunder kick. Adam Chuk looking like the Karate Kid. That's the music he came out to and landed some powerful strikes now. And maybe, just maybe, Van Roosman in a little bit of trouble. Ten seconds to go. They'll swing it out to the end of the bell. It looks like Rogan's nose is bleeding too. And he's trying it again. Was it too little, too late? A fantastic finish for Sergei Adamchuk, but before that, it was mostly Robin Van Roosmalen show. Yeah, and it's still that last little bit of success. That's what we needed more a little earlier from Adamchuk, but I mean, still a strong finish for him. And this is where he set up that rolling thunder kick, still blocked by the guard of Van Roosmalen. Van Roosmalen saw it coming, but it sure didn't look nice. Yeah, Adam Chuk has been throwing that around once or twice in his fights. A, left, a right uppercut from Adam Chuk landed. There's an uppercut. Second one. So a great finish for Sergei Adam Chuk. Should he been doing that type of fighting earlier in this fight? Or the reason he was successful in round five is because he'd worn Van Roosman down a little bit. Yeah, he pushed the pace a little bit more, countered back, and got on the, got on the offense. Who is the featherweight champion of the world? The official decision when we return to the Netherlands. Roosmalen and Sergei Adamchuk. And right from the start, the game plans really showed. It was Van, Van Roosmalen pressuring, or Adamchuk was trying to move and fight on the outside. But the pressure fighting and, and the hard counter punches of Robin Van Roosmalen seemed to be too much for Adamchuk. Robin continued to press, landed good boxing, mixed in a few kicks of his own, but that fifth round, Adamchuk came alive, really put his offense on showcase. 
This was the end of the fight where he did two rolling thunders. And it looked like he clipped the nose of Van Roosmalen. But like we said earlier, maybe a little too much too late. Or too little, too, little too, too late. It was too late, whatever it was, Joe. Or was it? The official decision coming up next as we look at our strike statistics. And look at that. Adam Chook actually landed 10 more strikes. And yeah, you can see Adam Chuk really trying to mix up levels with his strikes. Van Roosmalen looking at the legs, but a lot of those headshots were doing uh, the most damage for him, where Adam Chuk was looking for those knees, and that's where we see those 26 strikes to the body on Van Roosmalen. You know what? Maybe we have it all wrong, Joe. Maybe we do have Maybe. a new world champion. Let's find out now from Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are the totals. Three of our judges score the bout 48-47. The final two judges have it 49-46. All for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, glory featherweight champion of the world, Robin. the belt, Glory's Managing Director of Sport, Cor Hammers, and kickboxing legend and UFC number one heavyweight, Mr. Alistair Overeem. Congratulations, and still, that has to feel good to hear that. Yeah, it feels really good. So this seemed to be a little bit more of a competitive match than you anticipated. Can you rate your performance for me? I think we had a great, great game plan. We did everything what we should do. I expected them to be a little bit more attractive, a little bit more attacking, like his last fight against Salvador. But okay, this is what we have to do. That we did it. So. In the fifth round, were you ever hurt or worried when he really seemed to open up? Uh, no, he hit me a couple times good, but this is kickboxing. There's no tennis, so it's enough. So tonight, this is your birthday. What are you going to do? Uh, right now, I'm going to eat some pizza and drink with my friends and relax. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for your champion, Robin Van Roosmalen. So Van Roosmalen now advances to Madison Square Garden December 1st. Well, he'll, he'll meet Kevin Van Ostrand. What do you make of that matchup, Joe? Well, Kevin Van Ostrand's a very...